happened to me? Holy shit, Moonstar. Audible gasp when I read <laughs> your story. Ugh. Owie. Well, I hope that you're doing all, all right. Retro! Oh, wait, I'm up my face. <laughs> you're completely fine? All right. Well, as long as you're okay. That sounds so horrible. Man. That's pain. So excited? Hell yeah. I'm excited too. I don't know how much I said I'm going to play. I'm going to stream tonight until I finish it. But if I go at the rate I'm going at, it's possible we'll be done early. Because I know we're on like the last area. So. We'll see how early we end up. How, how how fast it takes us to, to win. And if we are too fast, too furious, I do have a backup plan or a backup game. AKA <laughs> Stardew Valley. <clears throat> I just started a brand new save, which was like such an intelligent move on my part. Who's this lady? Where's cat? Did aliens take away and replace her with a supermodel? Well, thank you. Shmoops. The nail color is awesome. Thank you. Yeah, we got. Uh, what are, what are these colors called? Hello Taco is my life. This one is Bring Me the Teal. And then I have this blue flaky hollow taco on top of it. Shiny. So they they go together super well. I am obsessed. And they're so pretty in like every type of lighting. It's wild. <laughs> Wombo combo. Yeah. How are the kitties? Um they are great. But they are not in here. <laughs> I was looking for them. They're being incredibly needy the last couple days. I keep having to kick them both off of my desk. I'm like, okay, I'll cuddle with you for like an hour or something. Like, you can chill here. And then they just keep trying to come back. And I'm like, okay, I need space on my desk for activities. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the meow. Meow. That's why I got the bag. <gasps> oh, Serge! Treats right now? How you doing? Um, I'm telling you, it worked like a charm. <laughs> Watch this. Here they come. The, my favorite is every time y'all do the treats right now, they'll have been like taking a nap. So they come out like this. I'm so tired. Holy plus 15 cat aura. Yeah. Where are they? Where are you? Come here. You want to come up here? Come here. Look at this. What the? How come I didn't hear that 20 months? Subscribe for 20 months in a row. Thank you. Cuther 10. What the fuck? Did that go off or not? Nah? Tentacles. Oh. Yes. Yes, I heard that I one. I love the tentacles. Yes. Kiss shot curtsy. I love the tentacles. Acton, also 20 months. Holy shit, you two. I love you guys. All my my wonderful friends. And Cooterton's my spouse, you know. Just just casual spousal things. I'll toss him at Loki. Loki is like in the doorway, laying down on the floor, being casual. Thank you so much. I was going to start working. I wanted to get, like, Christmas prepped. Da, da, da. Oh. Thank you for your bitties, Serge. Thank you for your bitties. There we go. Here, come here. Come back up so that the chat can see you.
Right here. Come here. See your little head. Hope you're having good weeks. You know, it's, it's not been too bad. I actually have the whole week off from work and stuff, so. Catching up on things that I've been putting off on for like, putting off for like a year. <laughs> um, okay, one more. One more, and then you can steal Loki's because he clearly doesn't seem interested. Um, yeah. I have a lot of time off this week to eat up PTO, or this month to eat up PTO, so when I am at work this month, I'm going to be busy as hell. I gotta not let any type of ADHD nonsense get to me, because I gotta hunker down. But if not, I got so much time on my hands. <laughs> so EP looking, so cute, true. I love when I get up in the morning, turn on the lights, and cats are like, yeah, that face is so accurate. Yeah. You procrastinated for four hours. True. I procrastinate all the time. It's like my life is I'm like, um, my life is like this. I'm going to do it right now. If I don't do it right now, I won't do it for a year. And there's no in between. Except for maybe chores. Obviously, I don't wait to do chores for a gazillion years, but... <laughs> You feel this, yeah. I'm pretty freaking terrible. Yeah. I did uh, some things like a couple of weeks ago that like I'd been putting off for like actual years that I finally did. And I'm like, I finally did it. That wasn't hard at all. Why did I wait? <laughs> Why did I wait to do this? I don't know. <laughs> but it's done now. It only took me years to do I'm glad you can relate <laughs> four hours and counting car to think it's all right I mean I'm not gonna tell you to keep procrastinating but I'm also not gonna tell you to to get on it because I procrastinate all the time or I'll be like Hmm, why do I feel so overwhelmed? Oh, yes, it's because I haven't done that thing I've been putting off for, for days at a time. <gasps> Aries! Is that an Aries I see? Hold up, the game is, again, spawning on the wrong monitor. Give it a moment to figure out its shit. F f move to the right monitor? <laughs> Are you guys ready to beat this game with me? You're beating it with me because you're here. See here. I like this little. Seventy-two. Oh wait, I didn't check my feral. Fifty-four. Not bad. Not bad at all. Seventy-two percent. I mean, I can't work when you're streaming, or maybe I can, but I'll never know. <laughs> Yes, I'm a distraction. Let me be your distraction. I will accept it. 50% feral! For beating it with you? Yeah, if you're here watching it with me, you're beating it through me, you know? Gotta bump up that feral. You're 50%. You're doing, you're doing pretty well. That's not too bad. 50% means you're, you're, like, not calm anymore. Wait, let me turn off the music. What am I doing? Here we go. Let me plug in my other headphone. I was hiding it. Cat, that is failing in any school system. Well, in this school system, the school of feral, anything above 50% is passing in my book. Listen, C, C's get degrees. Wait, that's not even a C though. That's like a D, whatever. You're, you're passing in my heart. And that's what matters, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we gotta go to the third floor. I hope I don't get jump scared. I am excited, so I'm gonna be, for the YouTube channel, I'm gonna be doing just like a highlight video for uh, Silent Hill 2. And I'm to I could just totally make like a highlight reel of me getting scared by legs, and I am looking forward to it, to editing that. 
<laughs> I am looking forward to finding out how afraid I really was. Okay. Man, you know what I realized? Oh man, how many times have I... What the... It's shaking. The controller's shaking. So I realized that... I will find out how many times I opened up the map playing this game. I hope it's like a thousand. Did that door just open? No, it didn't. Where am I going? The padlock. I hope it's like a thousand. <laughs> Retro, it was your post you posted and it showed like how many times you opened the, the map. And I was like, oh yeah, I forgot that's something they show you. And now I'm kind of scared <laughs> to see how many times I opened the... I'm looking forward to looking at my stats. I saw someone post their end screenshot with a number and it was like 1200. I swear I was going to have over 2000. It was like 800. <laughs> yeah, that's like, I, I'm like, oh man. Because I'm like notorious for being like, okay, I just did this. Now let me look at this. Let me look at this. Let me look at that. Like, let me double check that I checked this. Because I'm directionally challenged already. So it's like... We're already in danger. All right. Oh, wait, what? Oh, observation room. Sorry. Cat also opens map during combat. I do. I open the map while I'm trying to switch my gun out because I panic and I click the wrong thing. I'm so intelligent. <laughs> Oh, y'all, the plot's about to get thick. Reach room 312. Mary? Mary? Mary, are you here? Mary? Oh, no, Mary isn't here. Maria's not even here. Oh, no, what's happening here? I already know what's going on. I was talking to Kenny about the story during dinner. As he was asking. The story's so good, y'all. Plot about to get thick. Are you ready? <clears throat> Look, there's a little handprint. It's mine. Here we go. It's videotape time. Ooh, ready to watch a movie? Get comfy. <clears throat> Grab your popcorn. Oh, Aries and I are on the same brain, same brain cell again. What's this? What's this little videotape? Is it the sex tape? Oh, nope. It's Mary. Are you taping again? Come on. Oh, she's so cute, you guys. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just love it here. Yeah, you do. That's great, Mary. That's so peaceful. You know what I heard? This whole area used to be a sacred place. I think I can see why. It's too bad we have to leave. Promise you'll take me again, Jane. <coughs> Hope y'all saw that. Yikes. <laughs> hey, there you are. Do you know where Mary is? 
Oh, dude, this part makes me so uncomfortable. Mary's gone. She's dead. Damn. Liar. That's a lie. No. It's the truth. died because she was sick look at that face that is a face of guilt i killed her yeah. killer why'd you do it i hate you i want her back give her back to me i knew it you didn't care about her I hate you, James! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! She was always waiting for you. Why? Why? I'm sorry. Sorry's not gonna bring her back, Mary, James. You know Imagine telling an eight-year-old girl that you're a murderer. Just let that sink in for a second. Just like casually tell an eight-year-old that you're you're a killer. <gasps> yeah, this game really makes you think retro, so I, I feel that is man. Oh, Mary. I think uh, what I do love about this is that, like, so I know the story already. So playing this remake and all the little, like, what I say, like, hints that they give, all the little hints they give you about what you, James, did throughout the game is, like, they're so subtle, but they're all there, all it all points to what you did. So is he here because he's trying to make sure he he his wife is alive or because he misses her? Um, kind of both. So he so if you don't really understand what's going on, so he killed her. And then he brought her and then he and then he thought that she was still alive. So basically, bro disassociated and was like, he gets this letter from her, the letter that brought him here. So he kills her and then he finds the letter. So he like disassociates and then all of a sudden he thinks she's still alive. So he's kind of crazy, to put it subtly. And he thinks that she's here, but the town is cursed. It's I'm if if I'm remembering right, I'm not like a super lore horror for all the Silent Hill everything, but this was built on like sacred, like Native American ground. And it's cursed. And like it brought him here, the town called to him. To make him pay for what he did, basically. Why'd he kill her? It kind of gets explained as we continue forward, but basically couldn't take it anymore. Like he snapped. Um, it's kind of insinuated she was very ill. Possibly cancer. I can't remember if they say what it was she was ill with, but she was very ill and he was very resentful and angry towards her. And he kind of just snapped, right? I love how much the story was left up to the player to interpret themselves based on their own mistakes and choices. Yeah, so freaking subtle. You had no idea until this moment. Yeah, I, in middle school, got super obsessed with the story. Holy crap, so he just killed her? Yep. She 
which is so she was going to die anyway she was very ill and she probably wasn't gonna make it anyway like she knew she was gonna die and um yeah she'd been ill for like years and he hated her for it it's a big reason why there's so much symbology in this game you know how all the women like all the enemies in this game aside from pyramid head are like women they have like high heels curves all that stuff james was feeling a big theme is that james was feeling very sexually deprived because of her illness because she was sick all the time right so like that's why a lot of the enemies are like long legs nice curves right high heels that kind of thing that's why maria exists because maria is like the version of mary that he kind of wishes that she was if that makes sense there's just so much like yeah how dare she get cancer yeah so he did a really fucked up thing. He smothered her with a fucking pillow. Which, by the way, I don't know if y'all are any true crime enthusiasts out there in chat, but um, smothering is a fucking brutal way to go. It is very... It's not a nice way to go. Another man thinking with his wiener, yeah. Yup, pretty much. It's a brutal way to go, and the thing was, too, is she was probably going to die soon anyway, and she knew it, which is why she wrote all the letters that, like, Laura and James get, because she knew she was going to pass away soon anyway. Like, she knew it was coming, but he took a, he took an extra step and just did it for her. Bro, we gotta bring the penis, but only enough blood to run into one at a time. What do you want? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, he he really no. I I can't remember if it's like, it's like insinuated. It it I don't really know. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. It's like insinuated that he never did cheat on her, but he wanted to. Um, but I, I'm not confident about that. I could be wrong. It's possible he could have. But I, I'm not super sure. <laughs> Do better. <laughs> okay, there's this. Can I open this door? Okay. Gotta go through this. Yeah, it's wild. This story is such a masterpiece. And the designs of everything that you fight in this game is so well done. Like, the old and the new version, because they're pretty faithful to each other. It's just so well done, and like, so many little subtleties. Like, in the strip- when you go into the strip club with Maria, if you look in the Lost and Found, there's a wedding ring in there, and I'm pretty certain it's James's. And also, James isn't wearing his wedding ring, but the tan line on his finger kind of insinuates that he only took the ring off recently. Because the tan line's still pretty intense. And not just saying James, but I think part of it is that Mary in her last days was very closed off and cold towards him. They both wanted to love one another, but they couldn't. Yeah, that's also true. Yeah, not obviously. Yeah, that, that's not justifying him at all. But she also was kind of like. Like he he she was also kind of cold towards him, too, because she felt like a burden. I think she felt like a burden. And like. So she kind of acted like, yeah, off to him, which is fair. Like having like cancer or something is very emotionally draining for all parties involved. And I just can't imagine how stressful that would be. You didn't catch that, the ring bit? Yeah, 
in any of the scenes, you'll notice like he doesn't wear a ring, but there is a very intense tan line. I don't know if you could see it in like the old game, but I've caught it a few times in this version. And every time I'm like, interesting, you're here looking for your wife, huh? Hmm? <laughs> looking for your wife that you love so much, but where's the ring? Like. And you could chalk it up at first, like, oh, well, he says it's been three years. But once you know the truth, it's like, mm-hmm, okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they're just, like, little things all over. It's just so good. It's insane. I love the little details that are just, like, James. Because I do think that James isn't like a terrible person at, at, in at his core. I don't think he was a terrible person. Obviously he's a terrible person now. Um, <laughs> but I don't think he was a terrible person, but he, yeah, he just, he just did a big dumb, like he just wasn't thinking clearly and started doing some dumb shit. And then he murdered his fucking wife. Like what the fuck? Well, because, like, even, like, if you know Angela's story, why it, Angela shouldn't even be trapped here. She's a total victim, like, through and through, but the town trapped her anyway because the town doesn't give a shit about whether or not what you did was justified. It will trap you all the same. Definitely a crime of passion versus hate, yeah. He, he, it definitely seems like he did it because he was just like in the moment kind of a deal. I am going to fall. Can I look at the map, by the way? Hmm. Okay. Can I, um, well, let me just make sure I've checked all the doors before I like stand on this yeah it's very interesting very good and this sort man this story is so genius like there's just ugh. they really did such an incredible job which is interesting because this they you don't get this vibe in like some of the other games because i'm pretty certain one of the games or like two of them there's like about like a cult and like they're weird this one is like different so much of my feeling about how james had to do with the overall journey and how he processed it you can tell he regretted what he'd done and held guilt and shame over it yeah i love how deep this story goes it's so good oh yeah and like it, it man it's just so the story is so genius it's so genius like i love it because even like you get three stories here. You get the story of James, you get the story of um, Angela, and you get the story of um, Eddie. And all three stories are very different. They're three very different people who suffered from three very different moments that all led to murdering somebody. And each of their reasons were different, but the town called to them all the same no matter their reasoning and they see the town differently like my favorite detail about eddie is that wherever you are in whenever you meet him you can always see his breath anywhere you meet him you can always see his breath even when you can't see our own breath but at the very end when we fight him we're in the slaughterhouse where it's cold like the town was just leading him to the slaughterhouse. And like it was cold for him wherever he went, even if it wasn't cold for us. There is no healing of thy bruise. Thy wound is grievous. True. Yeah, it's just a lot of emotion. It's wild. What a genius story. Give me more... Give me more of this. In horror. Like these deep, creepy... Things. Still can't get it right. What the hell?
these deep weird things like I, silent hill is awesome and creepy and great and awesome and great <laughs> are there any other silent hill this good story wise nope no i don't think i personally don't think so i think they're all pretty decent like they're interesting and weird and like have that really weird vibe but this one knocks them out of the water like nothing came as close if pt had ended up going through i bet it would have been really good but um that never works out sad most downloaded video game demo ever. Honestly, like the scariest thing ever. I don't think I could ever play it. But it was supposed to be Silent Hill. Jump! I bet it would have been really good. But yeah, the stories are different for each of them. But... And I think that they're all like pretty good in their own right, but I, they, they just don't compare. They just don't compare to two. They're, this, this one's just like so good. It's crazy. You have it on your PS4, still need to play, but I was told there's certain ways it has to be played. I can't remember exactly. Mm. Yeah, I'm not really sure. There's so many, like they even come out with like short story ones that aren't as big. But, like, I know that people really like 1, 2, and 3. I think if I remember correctly, 4 is really weird. <laughs> 4 is, like, really weird. And then after that, they just made a whole bunch of different, like, more short-form stories. Or, like, there's, like, a mobile game, I think. <laughs> Short Message was pretty good, just very different than the story. Yeah. Short Message, I thought, had a good story. It the gameplay, I watched someone else play it and thought that it was, it was decent. It wasn't terrible. It was sad. I liked the design of the monster. And like the flowers. That was cool. Wash yourself. Make yourselves clean. Remove the evil of your deeds from my sight. My sight? My is in God? God? That was burned scriptures. Oh my god. Clearly you're too smooth brain to understand the genius of Ascension. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Ascension. Is that one good? Or, oh, you're capping. I know, is 4 the one in the hotel? Where, like, you start in a hotel and you just get, like, randomly transported into Silent Hill? Isn't that the plot? And it's, like, very confusing and weird. Or am I thinking of a different one? Four is the room. Okay. Because that one, I remember watching that one and being like, oh, what is going on? Like, <laughs> it was really, it was very, four was very strange. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while for me too. It's making me want to um, go back and like read through the stories of one and I think one and three are like connected, I think, because there's something to do with a cult in one of them. I remember that, but it's been a while since I actually watched, so <laughs> don't quote me on it. Don't worry, I won't. Don't quote me on any of it either, because it's been a while. Plus, number two sticks out of my head the most, so it's like... Really the only one I really remember at the end of the day, just because I like the story so much. It's what got me into horror watching horror games. Not playing them because I'm a coward, but watching them. Because I found out that horror games had really good stories. It was Silent Hill 2 and Amnesia. I used to watch PewDiePie. Steph with uh, amnesia and he had Stefano the and the barrels and stuff. That's how I got into watching horror games. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> I actually own amnesia and tried to play it once and it did not go 
well. I got like 10 minutes in and I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> uh. Amnesia's lit though. Holy shit, that mannequin scared the shit out of me. I've always liked horror. I've just always liked horror, I think, yeah. I like um horror movies a lot, but it wasn't, I was in, I mean, I didn't get into it until I was like in middle school. That's kind of where, you know, my horror love got started. My first horror movie was Signs. I was so traumatized, I remember. <laughs> Imagine that mannequin wasn't there when you double back. <laughs> Dude, I'm just glad the mannequins don't come to life. I like when my brain go burr, yeah. <laughs> well, psychological thrillers, Spielberg, yeah, all right, true, yeah. I love horror movies The game scare me too much. Girl, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting a lot more brave because I'm streaming horror, because I've streamed horror games. This will be my second one, I think. I feel a lot more brave because you guys are here. So when I get the shit scared out of me, I won't cry. I'll just laugh and move on. <laughs> Signs of the scariest movies. I'm terrified of anything aliens. Dude, <laughs> that one scene... Where, like, okay, spoiler, if you've never seen Signs, plug your ears. When there's, like, the video of the party. <laughs> and, like, the alien, like, pops out of the bushes. <laughs> I cried when I was a kid. I, like, started crying because I got so scared. I started, like, sobbing and we had to pause. Like, I was watching with my parents. I was, like, 11 or 12 or something. And it, like, popped out of the bushes and I started, like, sobbing hysterical. <laughs> I started crying so hysterically because I was so traumatized. <laughs> oh, man, it's so good. Wayla's scary with friends. Yeah, true. Signs with Stephen King's. Is that Stephen King's one? It's M. Night Shyamalan is the director, if I remember correctly. I say I haven't seen the movie in so long. Oh, man. I feel like it's been a while, but man, that movie is like burned in my brain. I'm stalling. Keep moving. I, th that movie so burned into my brain because I was just so, like, terrified <laughs> of it. It was so scary. Oh, so good. So funny. I mean, the, the story is, like, the story is weird, you know? The story is a little, a little weird. But it's alien, so I'll accept it. The mist is pretty good. The mist is really good. <sighs> Oh man, M. Night Shyamalan is one of those that has like, the movie is either a banger or like it's really bad. Like, uh, I remember I loved Lady in the Water. What am I missing here? I'm missing something. Lady in the Water. That, that was, uh, I remember when I was a kid, I really thought that game, that movie was good. But then when I was an adult, I was like, man, this movie's kind of ass. Lady in the Water. Very forgettable. I wonder if any of you guys remember that one. <laughs> was Lady in the Water with Radcliffe? No. No, that's not. I don't think he's in that movie. Uh, who, who was in it? I can't remember the actress's name. I can see her pretty little face, but I cannot remember her name. But it's based on like a child's book, like a child book the hell what am i missing here oh this scared me okay it's based on like a children's book and like i remember when the movie came out people were so mad and i didn't understand because i was a child but then as an adult i was like oh wow oh, right oh no gee he was in a lady movie lady in black that's the one i think that's the one that movie is great i like that movie well shit where do i go how are you doing Naruto? we're lost already Woman in Black? I don't know if I ever saw Lady in the Water. Yeah, you're you're fine. You don't need to see it. It's not great. The premise of the story is really cool. Okay, let's see here. I'm missing something. 
The premise is really cool and interesting, but it wasn't done very well, unfortunately. It wasn't done very well. What the hell am I missing? Hold up. Blocked, blocked, blocked. All these are blocked. <clears throat> what the frick? I'm stuck. You lost, but I thought you were Shasta. True. What? What, 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 what? what am I missing here? Huh. Yeah, Woman in Black was lit. You know what, M. Night? See, this is where I say M. Night Shyamalan's hit or miss. Like, he either does, like, really well and, like, is, like, super interesting or, like, it sucks. What's that one movie about the kids who go to visit their grandparents for the first time? Like, they've never visited their grandparents ever. But they get a chance to go and meet them and like their grandparents are like really weird. What the fuck? What am I missing? There's a wall somewhere. Question mark. What? Hold up, I'm lost. Here? No? What? I'm already stuck. How? How? She's just stalling. Oh. Yeah. The Visit. The Visit. I actually loved that movie. I thought that movie was great. Man, that movie was good. It was so weird. Okay, let's backtrack. I'm clearly missing something. If we can backtrack, can we even backtrack? <sighs> Don't break your back, James. Jeez. Yeah, I thought the visit was really good. If a movie can, even if I figure out um the plot is, if a movie can surprise me, I I I like it. If I'm like, oh yeah, weird. Or um. I loved oh shit. What with um what what is it? The 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 movie with um um James wait, is his name James? It's another M Night Shyamalan one, the guy with the multiple personalities. Man, that game's fucking good too. A game, that movie's fucking good too. Mm, I like that movie a lot. Uh, what the hell, bro? What am I missing? What? What? Split. That's the one. Thanks, guys. See how bad I am at remembering things? This is why I have you here. To help me remember Split. Dude, James... Is his name James Macklemore? I say Snacklemore or something because he's so hot. <laughs> Dude, he didn't get enough... Um, what the fuck? He did not get enough credit for that movie because he destroyed that. Uh, wow, his performance was incredible. What is happening? Why am I stuck already? What? Am I stalling? I was thinking the one with Richard Gere and Edward Norton, Fatal Something. Mm, I don't know that one. You never saw Split? Oh my god, you need to watch it. Holy shit. Watch yourselves. What? Bro, am I really stuck in a in the it's not a kid's game. Um, huh? What? Are you serious right now? I don't see any walls to hit. Hey, maybe if we'll finish early, we'll play something else. Stuck. Can't climb. Over.
Fatal Attraction? Oh. Yeah, that's the title I was thinking of, but it's the wrong movie. Oh. What? What is happening here? Why am I so blind? Hello? Are you serious right now? <laughs> what am I? Okay. Um, I'm literally like looking at every nook and cranny. I'm not seeing anything. I'm bald. What's the indie game you're playing next? It's called Neva. N E V A. Like Neva. Neva. And I mean, obviously, that doesn't open. What? The frickin' frickity frick. James McAvoy. Oh, yeah, McAvoy. Snack of a way. Mm -hmm. Was the lead role for Split Scotland keeps giving out good actors. True. Hi, Nix. Nix Chartress. Welcome in. Oh, baby. Yeah, I'm crying. <laughs> Let me... Yeah, that's how I feel right now. What? Oh. I just want to end stream right now. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Dude, I'm so mad. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Rage quit inside an hour? Impressive. I cannot believe- I literally- I- yai yai- Holy shit. I'm st- I- that was on purpose. <laughs> uh, don't worry, Retro got tripped up on similar part two, so- <laughs> Nick's love Silent Hill too. She was the one that got it for you to play! Uh, real! Well, welcome in, that's great! Yeah, I love this game. I can't believe I just got stuck on that, though. That's embarrassing. Yeah, I can't be tamed. Sorry. Okay. You're always tripped up. Yeah, sometimes there's only been a couple of times where I got stuck. And, um, well, there's one of them, really. I feel like I haven't gotten too hard stuck on things so far, but I guess that will now change. <laughs> what the? Oh, it's just, I thought that was a snake. You knew it was there from the start. You just wanted to stall for a good chat. Yeah, true. I mean, we're talking about horror movies. I get really excited. Who's your favorite slasher killer, chat? Mine is Scream. I love Scream. Oh, or I guess it's Ghostface specifically. I love Ghostface. You're going to bed. Just want to say a little love to my mothering. Oh, good night, talking. And thanks for hopping in, son. It's good to see you, even if it's just for a moment. Does Candyman count? Fuck yeah. Any killer. Any horror movie killer. I, I will count it. I think I'd count Candyman. Because, like, he's like a paranormal serial killer. Just like, you know, Jason Voorhees, who, like, literally just, like, never dies. <laughs> Always double check that they're dead, chat. Always double check. Wait. Probably Candyman. You love gothic psychological horror? I love that for you. That's great. Yeah. Ghostface is my favorite. But I love, like, really... I love horror movies, like, slasher films that are, like, super tropey. I... Man, I'm a sucker for tropes. 
I love bad horror movies and good horror movies. I'm not picky. I watched some pretty bad horror movies and been like, that was pretty good. <laughs> uh double tap true derek hi derek how are you doing it's good to see you uh basement or two huh well we're on to so to the basement no not the basement <sighs> always smash never pass yeah freddy krueger <gasps> dude freddy krueger is crazy James, we're in the basement. Hold on. We need to change that. I need to introduce you to Giallo films. <gasps> Jeepers Creepers. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, Jeepers Creepers is one of my all time favorite horror movies, like point blank period. I love that movie so much. Holy shit, it's so good. Thoughts on I Know What You Did Last Summer? I feel like I've definitely seen that one, but it's been a long time, so I'm not remembering it too much. For my birthday last week, I binge watched Vincent Prince movies. Ooh, you've never seen it? Yeah, write all these down. You got some catching up to do. The pipe scene at the beginning still gives me chills. Yeah. Oh my God. Jeepers Creepers is so good. The second one, it's all right. It's definitely not as good as the first one. Like the first one is just classic horror. It's so good. It's so good. That's <laughs> because you're a youngster. Um, I'm pretty certain I've. What? Am I gonna jump? Oh, I'm not controlling it. <laughs> Are sequels ever as good? To be honest. I mean, yeah, they're not usually as good as the OG. Although I am a sucker. I love Scream 1 through 4. I love them all so much. They're all so good. <laughs> oh no, it's wet and squishy in here. I don't like that. Haven't watched a horror movie in a long time. Hoping to change that on Monday with your date. <gasps> Ooh. She wanted to have somewhere go through that. Oh my god, over to you. That sounds so fun. Oh, I love that for you. I hope you have a great time. Dude, horror movies. Kenny, Kenny knows, um, I am like, sometimes I will randomly just like sit down on the couch and then be like, I want to watch a horror movie and then just like find something that looks tropey and then pick it. <laughs> I'll be like, hmm, this looks like there, it will be kind of mid. Let's watch it. And then I'll be like, wow, that was awesome. <laughs> uh, I'm very predictable that way. You know those, like, if, if the story is like a bunch of high schoolers go to a haunted place or they go camping and then they start dying, I'm like, ooh, that looks great. <laughs> hmm, interesting question considering, oh, Silent Hill 2, you're right. <laughs> Scream is pretty good. <laughs> Scream is amazing. I love Scream. Like, man, it, it's just so good. Such a classic. You meant horror movies, but you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm worried that her fur babies won't be comfortable with me more than anything. I'm sure you'll be great. Have you ever watched the Netflix documentary, I'm a Killer? I haven't ever watched it. I have seen it come up in my feed a lot. My Netflix is basically true crime documentaries and horror movies. And then some anime sprinkled in when I actually get around to actually watching Netflix. True crime is like my comfy place. That sounds really fucked up, but it's true. I'm like, mm, I kind of just want something to like zone out to while I like cross stitch or game or something. And I'm like, mm, mm, true crime, another one? Mm, don't mind if I do. <laughs> That's your YouTube feed? Yeah. It's pretty crazy. I'll have to note that. Uh oh. No? Oh, are we? Maybe? Wait, what? I'm stuck. Oh. I listen to True Crime while editing. I love that for you. Yeah. I I found Explore With Us. And like, I am right now, my current obsession is watching interview footage. I don't know what it is 
right now I'm just like watching people explain the body language, like interview tactics from detectives. I'm like, hmm, interesting. I will never apply this to my real life, but I know it now. <laughs> Uh, video essays and scripted games. Found some hardcore hour video essays in Siren Kwan. So good. Ooh, I love that for you. Killer tells their story. Then it goes to the family of the victims. It's crazy sometimes hearing both sides. Yo, real? Ooh, okay. I'm gonna have to watch that. What? Why can't I go in? That sounds really interesting. I know, I do like when, like, some, um, like, documentaries, like, interview the actual killer and then interview, like, man, there's been some Netflix documentaries I was, like, like, they were, like, unsolved ones, unsolved mysteries or whatever, and they'll be interviewing someone and I'm like, bro, you're literally interviewing the person who did it right now. They're so... They are so, like, guilty. They're the one who did it, and you're interviewing them. That's so wild. This is unsolved? Like, it's so obvious. <laughs> You've been watching Iwu? Yes. How's it going, Iwu crew? This video has been looked at by licensed professionals. Or certified licensed professionals and stuff. What the hell? Where am I going? Okay, let's backtrack. I didn't see anything in these rooms. Am I missing something here? Can't get in here. There we go. I just like literally went in a circle. So clearly I missed something, but let me just double check. Making of a murder was really good too. Oh yeah, that one was also good. Oh. Classic, almost did it again, but not this time, because I know better now. You know, I'm unsettled by the fact that I haven't seen a single enemy yet since I've come down here. And I'm going to be honest, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Show yourself. Really? Oh, oh, oh. cinema, it's the scene. Oh, yeah. Mama? Mama. I was looking for you. Bro, Angela breaks left. my heart. Maybe then I can finally rest. Mama. What's wrong? Wait. You're not my mama. Oh. <laughs> Listen to it's, the music. It's so good. The theme is so desperate and sad. I'm sorry, Angela. <laughs> I think you were right. What we're looking for is not here. Helping me earlier, but I wish you hadn't. Even Mama said it. I deserve what happened. No, and uh, man, that makes me uncomfy. I hate it. Oh, hold up a second. Me. There we go. Sorry. I'm not worth it. Maybe you think you can save <sighs> me. Man. Will you love me? Care for me? Heal all my pain? That's what I thought.
James. Give me back the knife. No, I won't. <laughs> Saving it for yourself. Have it your way. It doesn't change anything. see it too for me it's always like this Yeah, and time. I tried to stop. Um, my game like lag lagged because I tried to stop the ads, but I was too slow. You guys, Angela makes me so sad, dude. I hate it. I hate it. It makes me so sad. Like, oh, bro. Oh, it's all good. No ads here, yes, yeah, chef. I'm, hmm. I wonder why. <laughs> uh, it's just so, like. Angela's entire story just like breaks my heart every single time I see her. I just I want to I want to cry. Anyway, we were talking about where, where were we talking about? I find interesting old forensic file episodes because there's at least one person that was exonerated years after the episode aired because of DNA evidence. Were falsely arrested and found the actual person. Oh shit. Cinema. Do I not have cinema as a as a stop everything? Do I not have cinema as a seven TV emote? This is important. Everyone stop <laughs> from rage quitting to crying. This is gonna be an interesting session. <laughs> Do I not have cinema? I don't have cinema. Holy shit. Or I have cinema. I think I have uh, Halloween cinema. We're back. <gasps> Next, I'm sorry. I tried to stop the ads, but I was too slow. We were crying. Do I have cinema? I do have cinema. We got cinema now. Good, good. I fix it. Heading to bed. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by, Aries. Get some good rest. Take care of yourself. I'll talk to you later. It's okay. I already saw this part anyway. Yeah, true. <laughs> Benefits of being can stand true. Yeah, there's the cinema, the Halloween cinema. Uh, yeah, have a good night, Aries. Yeah, man. Wild. Bottom of the hour looks really good with Anna Kendrick. Oh, shit. See, I was watching the scene, so I totally forgot about chat. But uh, enemies? Oh, we're so back. We're so back. <gasps> Die, die, die. Yeah, die. It's depression, yeah. Dude, Angela's entire so ugh. It's like it's hot as hell in here. You can see it now? For me, it's always like this, and then my heart just like shatters into my Doing the boss fight with her her boss fight actually makes me wanna grow up. I didn't like that at all. It, I, I, it, it was kind of traumatizing just a little bit. It's just so sad. Like, man. She's young, too. Isn't she only 19? When she is in this game? Like, isn't she only 19 years old? Abstract Daddy is one of the most notorious bosses in the franchise because it makes so many people uncomfortable. Yeah. 
It's so fucked. What? What? It's notoriously horrible, but I mean, it tells the story. It, it tells you the story, you know, even if it's... Yeah, 312 to be cleared out. No one is returning. It's just, it's very sad. Are they all... Oh, they're all weak. I'll just club them to death then. <laughs> Is that the weird door one? Um, it's the one with, uh, the, like, the bed. And there's, like, two, two people in it. Uh, it's very, yeah. It's, uh, where he, like, really, like, run through the walls and shit is scary. And is, like, chasing Angela. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, 19, yeah. I think that in the remake, they did a... Like, I was looking at comparisons of the characters from then to now. And I do think that Angela looks 19 in this game in comparison to the old one. I think she looked a lot older. I didn't even know she was 19 until I was looking at the comparisons. Uh-oh, we're back in Pyramid Daddy territory. Oh no, Pyramid Head, don't hurt me, please. Oh no. <laughs> it's very good at what it does, it's just extremely upsetting and depressing when you realize what that means. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's why, like, for me, it's so upsetting because, like, fighting it when you know what it means and what it represents and why it's there is just so... Man, it's upsetting. <laughs> So, ha fighting it for the first time, already knowing, man, it was, I was very, I was angry and sad at the same time, which means they did exactly what it was supposed to do. Okay, chat, here we go. I think I know what's behind the door. It's gonna be okay, James. We'll find Mary. James. Iconic. Leave her alone. Leave us both the hell alone. <laughs> We're in the end game now, baby. Let's go. Uh, yo, that scream. That's that's such good voice acting. Rest in peace again, for like the fifth time. Isn't it more graphic in the original? They don't really show much in this scene, do they? I feel like I remember it being more graphic. Ooh, look at all that blood. There's nothing like bleeding out upside down. Yeah. Oh, you know what they are? Oh shit. It's all over now. I don't need you anymore. Let's go, James. It's time. <laughs> oh, I'm excited, but I'm also scared. The, I've only died once so far, and it was to Pyramid Head. So let's try not to die. Oh, Ow! Bitch! Hold up. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Okay, I missed. Listen to the song. Huh. 
It's like this, like... It feels like a song of acceptance, you know? Dude, this part is epic. You hear me? I don't need you anymore. Nice. I did it first try. Dude, that's... Yeah, that is so metal. Destroy what you don't need. Metal. Whew. 10 out of 10, would stab again. True. When you discuss how to hit fire, he has a disturbing lack of urgency. <laughs> Dude, I almost died because I got, like... Mega comboed. A scarlet egg. A rust-colored egg. Wow, look at that. <laughs> also, thank you for the follow. Welcome. The pose. I know, right? Like, look at that. Wow. That's so epic. <laughs> I love it. And Maria? You can't even see what they did to her. You just see a little bit of blood. Really? F in chat. Yeah, true. So majestic. I was saving all my bullets for the final fights, really. F. Crazy. Rust colored egg. What? Wait. Huh? Why can't I? What? Oh. I see. Okay. Smart. Okay. Yeah, I, I knew, well, cause I already know what's coming. So I kind of just tried to use my handgun and then use the other guns for boss fights. Cause I was like, I know me and I know I will. 
Oh, this is important. Flowers. I don't want any damn flowers. Yeah. Just go home already. Look at me. I'm disgusting. Between the disease and the drugs, I look like a monster. Well, what are you looking at? Get the hell out of here. Leave me alone already. I'm no use to anyone. I'll be dead soon anyway. It'd be easier if they just killed me. But I guess the hospital's making a nice profit off of me. Why are you still here? I told you to go. Are you dead? Don't come back. James. Wait. Please. Don't go. Don't leave me alone. I didn't mean what I said. Please. Tell me I'll be okay. Tell me I'm not gonna die. Not gonna cry. <clears throat> yeah, the dialogue is very raw. They did great. They really did. It breaks my heart. Oh, man. So sad. Ugh, oh, damn it, Mary. You're gonna make me cry. True. Stop cutting onions. I can't. Dude, it just makes me so sad because it's just so obviously a story about two people suffering with, like, what it's like to have, like, you know, someone who has, like, a disease or, like, a chronic illness or cancer or something. Like, it's just so sad. It's right. It just hurts, you know? Just hurts. <laughs> I wonder what ending I'm gonna get. I think I've done pretty well. <laughs> Look at all this ammo. Could it possibly be that we're getting close to the final boss? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Could it be? <laughs> Shape forces the mind. 26. Okay. Wait, I'm not gonna go down. Man, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. It's just such, like, sadness everywhere. Okay, well, I hope I don't die. Just don't open the map during the boss. Oh, there is no map to open. Okay, we're golden. And I have tons of ammo, so we're golden. We've got this. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, my palms are sweaty. Something about spaghetti. <gasps> it's Mary! Look at this classic arena. <gasps> Whoa. There she is. She's so beautiful. Chat. I cry. She's so pretty. Oh. 
I have missed you so much. <laughs> Yo. I missed you too. We can finally be together. Forever. Forever. He's like, mm, no, nah, I don't want that. <laughs> Damn. Forever? That sounds like a long time. <laughs> James. Look how pretty. What's wrong? I'm sorry. Look at those beautiful gold eyes. I know you tried. James, please. But she's gone. I know that now. Stop it. And I can't just keep pretending. Shut up! What do you want? Do you even know anymore? I'm yours. I'm here for you. Smash. So what if I'm not her? <laughs> James, mood. Yeah. I can give you what she never could. Hey, now. I can be better than her. Hey, now. Mm-mm. Yeah, she did an amazing job, the voice actress. Um, I want you to be someone who gives me space. Thank you. So what if I'm not hurt? Yeah. I am Disrespect. So sorry, Maria. I really am. But this has to stop. It's time Look at her nails. They're pretty. I love what I focus on. It's fine, though. <laughs> I'm talking about my dead wife like that. Yeah, exactly. I've had it with you, Maria. All you like touching yeah. me without my consent, trying to hug me and what? What? Oh. I won't let you do this to me. What? She doesn't want me to. She. I won't let you go. She's crazy. I can't. No touch. Dude, this boss's design is sick. I like it. <laughs> what the fuck? Ow! Ow, bitch! The moths. Ow. Yeah. Wow. She's crazy. Ow. Okay, I deserve that. I'm sorry. Ow, okay, I deserve that. Ow, okay. Ow, okay, I deserve... Ow, it hurts! Ow, okay. Ow, okay. Hurry up! Oh, no! I just died! Yo, that's hard! That's like way harder. She she'll hit you twice. No, I died. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't panic. This fight is long, so I was trying to I just just use your You're Starting to sound like Angela. You got this. Yeah, I got this. Ow! Okay, I... Ow, I got... I deserve it. It hurts. Yeah, because... Because I messed up. Right, is different. It's fine, it's fine. Don't panic. Oh. 
I missed. Well, bro, this is stress. Stress. Ah! Ow! It's so so loud. I feel like this is different. This is different. Okay, where's my shotgun? She, where, where, where? It's so scary. <sighs> Damn, okay. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Fine. Ah. Where is she? Can you shoot these, by the way? Oh, you can. Ow! Okay, ow! Heal. Okay. Bro, it's so stressful. Why is it so stressful? Don't be stressed. She's just... shaking <laughs> I'm sweating my nose is sweating my glasses it's... this fight why is this fight kind of stressful yeah Heal, heal, heal. Don't be, don't, don't panic. Ow. Heal. It's because it is stressful. True, it is, it is stressful. I'm like... Okay. Okay, don't panic. My heart is racing. Heal for good measure. Oh, no, I was I'm here. I was trying to. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. Just, just look around. Pay attention. Okay. Ah! I just he heal for safety. Yes. Yeah. Did I do it? Yeah, I did it. Ooh. GG, thanks. <sighs> Let's finish this off with a good old handgun. Ugh. Hi, Mary. I'm or Maria. I'm sorry. <laughs> Defeat her. Let's go. Oh no. Ending did I I don't think I got a good ending. <laughs> James, don't don't do it. Please, please. I miss you so much. No! <laughs> this isn't a good ending. I tried. <laughs> it's fine. I really did, but I can't. Uh oops. James, please, no. <laughs> this is the canon ending according to several sources, so nice job. You know what? Yeah, you, you are right. <laughs> True. I know this isn't what you would want. Yeah. I mean, it checks out because no one ever hears from him again in the Silent Hill universe anyway, so. Yeah. You're not here. Um, actually, she is, but... Are you? No, I'm here. <sighs> Damn it, I was hoping I was going to get the leave ending, but uh, honestly, I don't really know what... I think I took to way too much damage, honestly. <laughs> also reference in Silent Hill 4, the room that he and Mary disappeared without a trace. Oh, really? Leave is my favorite. Leave is the best one. That's what I wanted. But I honestly don't really know how to get it. I know it's like a point system based on like how Oh, that's so rough. I hate that. Because, like... There, there's, like, your relationship with Maria, how often you take damage, how often you die, etc. It's like a point system, right? In my restless dreams, I see that town. <laughs> it's the... Silent Hill. Silent Hill. Also certain puzzle answers. Oh, really? There again someday. But you never did. Oh. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Oh. Waiting for you to come. And you now you have to do the other ones retro? Yeah, like the egg that contributed to Lee, but you, you picked the wrong did. one. I didn't know. I no! <laughs> See, I was wondering. I was wondering if, um. Loneliness. If I had to pick one or the other, but I I've done a terrible thing. I wasn't you. sure. I Tell me more, that. cause I'm curious. Yeah. Damn. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here. Mary, no. Every day I stare up at the cracks. I contribute to certain endings. Okay. The scripting is good. So yeah. Unfair. This it letter is. is so iconic. The doctor came today. Told me I could go home for a short stay. The coin puzzle and the better. apple puzzle. It's just that 
This could be my last the chance. The coin puzzle. Which one is the so. coin puzzle? I'm glad to be coming home. I missed you so and much. And then she came home and she got fucking murdered. I'm afraid, James. Those are off the top of your head. Oh, I didn't know that certain puzzles contributed. Want me to come home. What if I? What if just going through Every the freaking door me, contributed to on you. Uh, me getting the bad ending? I don't know Frick. if you hate me or pity me. Maybe I just disgust you. Sink attacks a woman and the man reacts too fast to save her. Who's to blame? Oh. When I first learned I was gonna die, I couldn't accept it. Ah. I was so angry. I struck out at everyone. I didn't I realize that was the story, so I think I picked the wrong Especially one. You. <laughs> the answers That's are the old man, the snake, or the woman. They contribute to each of the endings. Oh, I think I but picked I the man. Because I think I didn't I understand the story. I didn't understand the story. Even though our life well, that's fine. <laughs> the ripe or rotten I apple against the mirror. The oh, world. I did the ripe apple. I didn't even know there was a rotten apple. Well, this letter man is, is for water. So, Fuck. I'll say goodbye. Nah, it's fine. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. That's fine. Which means that as you're reading this, I'm already dead. Ripe was wrong okay. for leave. <gasps> oh, I was destined for failure from the start. <laughs> and the egg had to be so the rest one for leave. Okay. And not what the disease made No. Me. <laughs> I want you to go on. I was destined for failure. The puzzles that screwed you, yeah. For yourself. I only died twice, oh, which I don't think is that bad, like honestly. And I never had problems with the Maria sections Jane. at all. I feel like they were way easier than Jane. I remember yeah. watching, like the old ones. I remember, I feel like it was more stressful. Only way out, reach the in water ending. <gasps> Pretty great, not gonna lie. Yeah, so I didn't know that the puzzles contributed to whatever ending you got. Hol By the way, holy shit, my review, fantastic. This is really great. It, as someone who never played the original but did watch a lot of other people play it, I do feel like with the, the story and like it just felt very like, you could tell that the remake had a lot of love for the original, if that makes sense. Like, they... Even, like, some things that, like... Like, the first time you meet Pyramid Head, like, the scene is, like, really weird and you're like, what the hell? Like, it's like that in this game and in the old game. Like... I like the redesigns of the characters. I thought I think they all looked really great. James looked handsome as fuck. Like, it was fun, the puzzles were fun, it was scary. It was great. I really liked this. I think they did a great job. I'm impressed. <sighs> to be honest, the rotten apple was hidden well, so no worries. Oh, okay, well noted. I hope the blooper team, blooper, blooper team makes Born From A Wish, the DLC added content. Oh, really? Was the verdict? Yes, and the verdict is, I like this game a lot. It was really worth playing, for sure. James is a sad Borbo. I love him. Yeah, James is an incredible character. You did it! I did, Kuth! GG's indeed. Thanks, Moonsire. Yeah. This was really good. I loved it. I mean, it had all the banger music. Like, they didn't even change any of that, really. <laughs> My only critique is I really wish... I really wish that... They gave Maria her old outfit, because I like that outfit better than the new one. But that's just preferences, so... Other than that, that's not even really a... That's not a real genuine complaint, because that's just, like, outfit preferences. But they all did really great. This game is what makes me love psychological horror so good. Yeah, it's really, really, really good. I'm really glad, and also... She went to bed earlier, but shout out to Aries because she gifted this to me to play. So, <laughs> I feel very lucky because <laughs> it was really good. It was really, really, really good. And they added, what, they added two more endings? There's 
eight endings, and I think they originally had six. Although I think the ones they added for... The ones that they added for this remake are, like, very small, like, detail endings. They're not, like, a brand new, holy shit, it changes everything. It's just, like, you know, like some of the other endings, just, like, little details of, like, decisions you made, I guess, that, like, you need to... This kind of thing, but... Retro, did you also get in the water ending, too? I want to get... I, I know, I've seen the meme endings, but I have zero. I You did? Okay. I know there's a couple of meme endings. I have no idea how to get them, but I think they're goaded. Also, another reason why I love this skin. Because of the different endings. One of them is an extension of In the Water, and the other one, like, causes the game to end a bit earlier, and it's fucking depressing. Really? Oh, okay. Because I, I saw the extension of In the Water. I watched somebody play, and I watched that extension of In the Water. I did see that one. You need certain items, and they're only accessible in New Game Plus. It made me depressed. Oh, yikes. And it ends the game earlier? Yikes. That one hurt me, too. Yeah, it was sad. It's so sad. Ugh, but man, they did a great job. Yeah, but so do the two meme and yeah, but so do the two meme endings, if I remember right. Yeah, the two meme endings also end the game earlier, I think. Or I watched someone do one of them, and it took him like five hours. This first playthrough took me 20 hours. Not bad. There's three that do that now. Oh no! <laughs> I might just watch them because I don't know if I will do all of those. Because that's a lot of endings. Because there's so many that are just like, just like slightly different. You gotta play the whole game over again and they're slightly different. I mean, endings and the one new ending was just sad. I can take a guess. You should save scum too, yeah. Holy names. Read all of them. Quick. I can't. Safe's coming for the win, yeah. True. True. You're right. That was Silent Hill too, chat. That was really good. I really liked it. It makes me wonder... I mean, I don't know if they will. But is there any chance they would remake, like, the first one? Or the third one? I know people like those ones a lot. Mm. From what I'm recalling, I know people didn't really like four too much. That that that's like just off the top of my head what we were discussing earlier. <laughs> it does make me. I did watch like the movie once. It was pretty. Yeah. <laughs> the team says they're open to remaking some of the others. You're hoping for Silent Hill One? Ooh, I hope so. <gasps> I checked the map 810 times. Let's go. Ending in water. Ending cleared. One of eight. Playtime. Distance traveled. Consumables picked up. Notes picked up. Number of times tried to open locked doors. <laughs> 385. Yeah. What? We're, you were 813? Oh my god. We're like same brain waves. <laughs> That's so funny. We're the same. I'm not going to lie. When I saw your number, I was like, oh no, I'm going to open it way more. So now I don't feel so bad. <laughs> Theme of Lara! Dude, I wanted the le- I, I wanted the leave ending because I wanted- Wait, didn't it take a screenshot? I wanted the leave ending because I wanted the Laura part. What do I got? Number of dodges performed 1,300 <laughs> times died too. No! Healing items. 117 healing items? Look at all the windows I destroyed. Shots fired. 757. My favorite weapon was the pipe. You died 44 times? Oh, damn. Yeah, twice. Fuck those windows. Yeah. <laughs> 
I was purposefully breaking like every window that I could. Damage you received, enemies killed by fighting, enemies killed by shooting. So you're telling me I shot 757 times and I killed 372 times? Well, I guess it takes multiple shots, so I guess that checks out. I killed 200, most of the enemies by kicking. To be fair, I would shoot them and then I would beat them to death after I shot them. Everyone loves the pipe. It's so good. Freaking Eddie. Fuck Eddie. <laughs> oh, did you get stuck on Eddie? Dude, he... I'm surprised I didn't die fighting Eddie. It was kind of stressful. Love beating them to death? Yeah, I like beating them to death. And then you don't, <laughs> like, hitting them again after they're dead. Just, just to make sure they're actually dead, okay? Yeah, Eddie is, um... That fight was rough. You gain access to New Game Plus, where you can play with access to digital items, graphic models, and endings. I did it! Woohoo! Yeah. Also, let's see. He is also a dick. Yeah, he is. It's chill that he's dead. I think that contributes to in water, too. Killing him? Or, or beating people. You can plus hit list? Whoa, that, no way. Repeatedly stomping on enemies? <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> Oops. Listen, I had to make sure they were dead because sometimes they would come back to life. You know? <sighs> I had to double check. Oh, yikes. Man, they really made you make a lot of choices. <laughs> Are you a psychopath in games and likes to stomp on everybody after you kill them? Weave has you do as little fighting as necessary. Really? Yikes. Well, I guess it makes sense. Because basically, like, in the water is like you get overtaken by the town. And, you take, and then James takes his own life. And so I guess, like... Fighting enemies a lot, stomping on enemies a lot, using things that are new and not decayed is would be part of the town. So like you get like absorbed by the town and then you just decide to take your own life. But if you leave, it's like you see through the town. So you just choose not to use as much as little violence as possible and Use the the rotten stuff because the town's abandoned, so they're in reality, maybe. Like second playthrough, I'd run past a lot compared to the first playthrough. I was clearing errors out entirely. Me too, me too. I killed everything I could. <laughs> I killed everything. Pretty much. I view in waters more like he's able to finally process that the Mary's gone and can't move past it. He's stuck in it and can't live without Mary. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I guess say, I guess when I say, like, the town consumes him, I mean, like, he's so overwhelmed by the truth that he can't handle it. And, like, he just can't, yeah, he can't get over what he did to Mary. So sad. Because, like, Silent Hill is like, okay, Nyx, you seem to know a lot more about Silent Hill. Silent Hill, from what I remember, if you can confirm this one for me, is like a town that was built on, like, Native American burial grounds. And it's, like, cursed because of that. And that's, like, part of the reason why this happens. Like, people get pulled into it. Kind of a deal, right? I need to brush up on all of the lore because it's been so long. In water also has you do as little healing as possible. Take care of yourself less and be kind of violent. I healed a lot for in, in my defense. <laughs> I healed almost 200 times. I love the lore. Yes. Yes, we love lore horrors in this chat. 
Kind of. Mostly human sacrifices in a dark cult that worships a dark god. Okay, see, I remember there being, like, a cult in a couple of them. And, like, some sort of demon at some point. I remember there being, like, some sort of demon or something. And, like, yeah. The town is cursed AF. It's the Dark God's influence on the town that creates this other world. Mm. And it's kind of like a limbo hell type of world. It's giving birth to a Dark God. Okay. Okay. That kind of brings back like little tidbits of memories. Because weren't they, isn't in one of the games there, you're like trying to save a girl who is going to get like, is the daughter of the cult leader? Or like, do you play as her? It's like the daughter of the leader of the cult. And you're like either trying to save her or trying to escape or something. Wild. Man, I need to brush up on my Silent Hill lore because it's so good. It's, it's crazy. I, I, I like this though. I hope they remake the first one. That would be really great. I would play it if they did. Because how old is Silent Hill? How old is the original game? How Silent Hill, what, 1998 or something? Nineteen ninety nine. does have a lot. It's uh, Silent Hill 1 and Downpour. Maybe the other one has been a while. Silent Hill 1 does have a lot with the Dark God and the Cult, yeah. Look at this freaking old style classic horror. Holy shit. <laughs> Looking at the pictures. <laughs> Damn, look at this. Whoa. I'm looking at like these are wild. <laughs> look at the... I love... Hold on, let me show you what I'm looking at. <laughs> look at this baby. Silent Hill Origins. Right, okay. Look at that. Another thing I really like about Silent Hill is that there's, like, so much enemy variety. Because the enemies are created based on whoever is trapped in it, you know? OMG, it looks like a potato. Potato baby. All characters in Silent Hill 1. Remember the PlayStation? Ooh, I remember this. Oh man, it's been a long time. Actually, re remember this. Looks like potato Lisa. I love her. <laughs> Hell yeah, man, that's so good. That's at most lovely. <sighs> All right, well, man, yeah, they should redo this one. Wait, what does Silent Hill love the PS One graphics? They're so classic. Look at them, A little polygon. Love this little polygon shit going on here. Like, look at that. It's James! <laughs> it looks so good. I love him. He's He looks so much more handsome in the new one. I love it. Oh, man, crazy. Well, chat, I know I said if we ended, like, super early, maybe I'd continue, but I think I might end we're in like a awkward spot. James with the side part. I know. Don't you love that little side part? Well, no, I'm I, this. I will say this. I love this game, but it does make me tired. It does make me exhausted a little bit. I feel no shame. No, I don't feel shame. So much character. I know that beautiful part. Man, what a great game. Oh, yeah. Well, I was going to ask, what is Silent Hill 3 about? What is the plot of Silent Hill 3? Because I cannot remember, but I feel like people like that one. I was going to say that and then I forgot. You fought a double pyramid head and a crazy crib lady. Yeah. <laughs> it is emotionally draining. Yeah, it is. Holy. <sighs> Stress at certain points made me physically sick, but the overall journey was worth it so good. Yeah, I know. Like, sometimes I... Horror games are awesome. I do, because I felt the same way when I played Resident Evil 8. It was so fun, but every time, like, after, like, a few hours, I was like, I'm so tired. 
I'm so tired. <laughs> Heather Mason goes on a revenge streak against the cult. Okay, see, I remember. I remember something like the cult from one. Like, it's like one in three are like connected. And then like the second one is just like this random. It's like Silent Hill 2, totally random, different story. And then it like continues in the third one or something. And then the fourth one is... Uh, it it is. They have similar characters, yeah. That's great. That's so funny. Well, that's epic. Y'all, thanks for coming with me on this journey. I really did love this game. I thought it was just fantastic. On, what is today? Saturday. We are going to play... Neva, at least I think it's pronounced Neva, N-E-V-A. The fourth one exists. Yeah. It's pretty bad. It's not great. I remember, I don't even think I finished watching any playthroughs of it because I was like, what is this? <laughs> um. Yeah, so on Saturday, we're going to be playing Neva. Actually, let me just show it to you. Um, it's made by the same people who made Grease. Did anyone play Grease? Um, it is an absolutely incredible puzzle game. This is what we're going to playing next. It came out last month. And I was so excited about it because I loved their first game so much. Look at how beautiful. The only connection I know it has to others is that the superintendent is James Sunderland's dad. It's like near Silent Hill. Okay. Yes, Grease. Yeah. It was the first game I played and beat on stream. No way. That's crazy. I love that for you. I love that game so much. That game had me sobbing hysterically. Okay. I don't want spoilers. Please stop auto-playing. That game is just so good. Like, it's, oh man, it's so good. It's so good. I love it. You hadn't even heard of it? Oh shit, it's so good. It's like a puzzle game. Just, a, just like a chill little puzzle game. It's just amazing. And it's like a story about handling. Well, Grease means grief. I can't remember what language, but the game is called Grief. And it's like a puzzle game about processing grief, basically. And it's got like the best. Oh, let me find you a soundtrack real quick. Let me find you a song. I have the soundtrack all over my Spotify. It's just so good. Which one should I even play? I think it's this one. Let me show you. Just listen to this shit. Dude, this song makes me want to cry. It means gray in Spanish? Oh, really? Okay. That's so cool. It's so good. Yeah, it's... Oh, man, it's an amazing game. I went out of my way to get, like, the true ending. And French, if I remember. Oh! That's so cool. I I love that. Oh my money block. That's great. Yeah, I man, I love this game. And I am excited for Neva because it looks so good. When the trailer came out, I cried. I cried watching the trailer. Because yeah, I can't even handle it. It's so good. <laughs> Makes me want to cry. Just listening to the music makes me want to cry. Yeah, Grease is beautiful. Like, just the music alone, I will just like cry. Because <laughs> it's just amazing. And I love games like that. Like, little games. Like, another good one, if you like Grease, I suggest Planet of Lana. Listen to this. Oh, it's so good. I want to cry, dude. It makes me want to cry. <laughs> it 
It's a gorgeous game about the five stages of grief. Yeah. It's just insane. Makes me want to sob. It's just so good. But Planet of Lana is another one. This makes me want to play it again. I know. It's so good. Planet of Lana is another great one. Oh, man. I played that on stream. I think I might have VODs on my VOD channel. So good. Like, huh? I love me a good game like this. Like, a, like a, it's not a super long game, but it's got such a potent story and even more potent music. Go check it out. Yeah, do it. I highly suggest it. I found it randomly because a soundtrack popped up on my YouTube. And honestly, I never went back. It's just such a great game. I loved that game a lot. It was really good with a really good story. Okay, well, now that I'm done crying. Yeah, any type of game that's like, here's another of my favorites. Any kind of game that like has a good story that makes me cry because the music is also good, you've sold me. The Cat Lady is like that. Specifically, the story is just so good. The game made me sob the first time I watched a playthrough. The Cat Lady? The Cat Lady. Oops. Oh, oh. Oh, is it like psychological? What is this? Oh. Oh, look at this. Cute. Okay, well, I'm going to put this on my wish list. Looks like a little psychological horror thing. I highly recommend it. Oh. Yeah, if a game can make me cry, it's also a choices based game. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, cute. I like this. Oh. Seems like a like a good heavy game. Re realistically portrays depression. Ooh. Okay. Well, they got a whole bundle. Damn. All right. Sweet. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Well, cool. Y'all, I had so much fun. What a great... Oh. What a great game. I am looking forward to Neva. Saturday, by the way. Had me in f fucking hysterics in the best way when it finished and the ending song, I was sobbing. Oh, shit. Noted. <laughs> Thank you for stream. It was fun as always. Thanks for being here at Moonsire. Let's find somebody to raid. Who the heck is this? Who is this? I don't know who you are. Who are you? I see someone here that I don't recognize. I don't know this person. Okay. Um, let's see here. Who what do we got going on? Hmm. Yeah, so just again, Chad Rooney, Neva, Saturday, be here. I don't know how long the game's going to take. It could take one stream. It could take two. It just literally depends on how intelligent I am. <laughs> it depends on how intelligent I am and how long the game is. Because it's probably a, well, it's got combat in it this time, but it's, you know, intelligence. Uh, let's go here. I know who we're going to. I'm I'm being indecisive right now. <gasps> do, 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 do. You're gonna have off to bed. You're eating. Have work tomorrow. Oh shit! Well, have a good night, Nick. Thanks for being here. It was a pleasure meeting and speaking with you. We're gonna raid Host. They're playing Dark Souls Three, and we love to see it. Um, and then Saturday we will be here for a cute little cozy game that's gonna make us all sob hysterically because that's how this works. All right, we're all just gonna cry together, okay? And um, yeah, thanks for being here, everybody. I appreciate you all, and I hope you have a wonderful night. Bye.